I'm keeping uh, this video relatively simple. So you can actually download the content of this notebook. Uh, I will be providing the link under the video description. Uh, this is actually a notebook which is presenting a larger exercise. Uh, and that exercise is this one. It is actually part of a larger series of videos uh, which I've created a playlist for, properly dubbed my Ringel series. So with that, I would like to also bring up this disclaimer. Uh, please read it and understand it, that this is not financial advice. Uh, it's a ra rather like a long but boilerplate disclaimer, but I feel that it's, uh, it's necessary for these cases. Uh, so after you've done that, like you, you're content with continuing, please like, y you may do so and keep watching the rest of this video. So the first step that we do really is to just install the, install the modules that we need to our collaboratory notebook. And that's, that's basically done with this, with this code block. You can see that MPL Finance is actually a tool, a module which is used uh, to plot, uh, plot financial historical data. And so after it's taken some time, it usually does at first, but then after you've done this, you don't need to run it again if you want to like keep running the book, I believe. So now that it's done, uh, this cell that you see here, this code block is actually taken from a from a block which I've linked, and you can which you can go to by clicking on Control and cl left click. <laughs> and so it really explains nicely how to download the historical price data, how to extract it from Binance to using Python code. So it basically uses the Binance API to extract a, a quote and quote coins on quote and base coin pairs in a very rather simple way. Uh, so you're getting uh, OHLC or open high low close data that is usually used to build the candles and in trading charts. Uh, and you can we can also use the of course uh, specify the interval or candle time frame uh, from it in a very simple way in, as you can see in the interval variable here. What this returns is just the data frame, which is uh, just extracts all that OHLC data into a pandas data frame. So you need to download. That's why I, I'm importing that pandas module here as well. Now, after you've done that, you can just run the cell. And this function is one that I've developed so that you can, in a very simple sense, uh, extract the information of any uh, coin pair uh, in either the Bitcoin market or the USDT market is a little bit restrictive, but you can, if you would like, you may expand uh, beyond those two markets or base coins. So after you've done that, you can run it. And of course it will return it once again as a data frame. Now in here, what we do is we import the installed package that we installed in the first code block. And we import that, that package is matplotlib finance, as I may have mentioned already. Uh, and we import it as MPL. So now we, if we do so, we can call the MyPlotLib Finance as just that MPL prefix makes it very simple. Uh, what it does here is I have make it this code block very simple, straightforward for for anybody to understand. You can um, basically extract the data of a coin on any specific, of either the USDT or Bitcoin market, and of course uh, you can represent that that information from the using the one hour candlelight, one hour time frames or one day time frames if you would like. I believe uh, if you go to the Binance API documentation, you can see the number of intervals that are available for for um, for ex extracting API off. Right, so you can see that it goes. You can go to the Bitcoin USDT market, uh, one minute time frames, ten minute time frames, and there's just a, oh, there's not ten minutes. That's probably fifteen. Yeah, and there's just a variety really of. Um, different options you can take if you would look at if you look at the API Binance uh, documentation. All right, so what you see here, what I what I have as inputs for that plot are, of course, uh, we are putting the data frame with the historical data, which we have extracted uh, from the from from the from the Binance uh, database, right, um, as an input. We also define type as candles. You can change that to lines if you would just like to see close prices, I believe, right? But candles make it very, very, it's very practical for people who focus on trades. If you want to see the one month candles. Um, 
figure ratio is just the relative length and width of the chart. Figure scale is just the relative relative size of the chart. Then I just developed this this title uh, function is just a, a string formatting function which I also wrote so that it can give you this nice title depending on the currency you choose or coin price coin <laughs> the quote um, base coin pair and of course this last function this last option you see here it's actually the uh, an option to represent the y axis is either in either linear sense as is normally seen or logarithmic scale and if we actually for instance comment it out we can see that the linear scale um, it's actually on the y-axis it can obfuscate some of the information uh, when when you are actually dealing with uh, historical price data which spans different orders of magnitude right so you can see that at the beginning here it's very hard to see the, the trends going up and down and the fluctuations when you're not dealing with the log scale but when you are uh, it's you can actually see okay going up down okay so it's uh, a little bit more evident and nonetheless, I, I believe that this is the end of the video and I wanted to bring up once again that this is not financial advice. Um, it's just like some opinion here and there. Uh, I also wanted to bring up that given the end of the video, if you really liked it, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, if you didn't, well, just you can just leave it at that or maybe a dislike button, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was a joke. Uh, besides that, also, if you would like, uh, really like my content, please give uh, Give a click on the red subscribe button you see there in some some place on YouTube, and thank you for watching.